Hello everyone and welcome back to another Planet Coast tutorial video. Today guys, we're going to be looking at how to use water features and how to use them efficiently and effectively and how to make, you know, your park really stand out with water features. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do waterfalls if you're a beginner um, or, you know, you haven't really you know, experimented with the, some of the water effects because some of them are very, very nice. Um, but First, we're going to start with kind of fountains, and then I'm going to move on um, to waterfalls afterwards. So here we have uh, one of the um, blueprint fountains. Now you could, uh, this fountain is, uh, I'm pretty sure it's triggered. So they have this base, that's like a water base, so if I move that out of the way. So this is a pre-made base, which you can find. Um, it's a nice thing for like fountains and stuff. So if you go in... Um, if you go in here, there's loads of different ones, and there's also pre made fountains for you as well, so you can have different fountains. So that's the fountains, um, and then these already have pre made water coming out of them, which is nice. Um, or you have the ones out there, so yeah, that's one of the fountains. Oh, you can see that one's triggered. Um, I'm pretty sure it is. Oh no, it's just looping. Oh, well that, anyway, so that's the fountain, so this is your base, and then these are your water chats. And these are nice for like water displays or water shows, and they just squirt a bit of water. Um, and you can actually trigger them using a sequencer. So if I wanted to have, I'd just activate that and trigger it, and then i get a sequencer and do it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's um, fountain kind of spray jets. Um, so you have this type of water, which I believe is the standing water, I think. I think this is standing water. Am I right there? Yeah, this is standing water. Um, so standing water is one of the water I kind of use for any like lagoons or anything you want to have that's not too rough. Um, maybe if you have, I don't know, let's say you have like a pond in the middle of your, uh, in your middle of your park. Um, it's only small, so like like I did for PJB Studios, that little lake at the front with the fountains, um, that would this is that standing water, and also it prof it's so much nicer because it's kind of green or blue, um, but yeah, that's one of the, the you can use. And this one, I'm pretty sure this one is the calm water. It's more bluey. Um, it's nice for like lakes and stuff. Um, if it's not too big of a um, a water basin. Um, and then you have this one, which is, I believe, dirty. Yeah, dirty water. So this, if you want to do lava, or you want to do, um, I don't know, if you, you want to have, like, I don't know, dirty water, then you could use this. Um, I use this for lava because it's quite a nice, dark, um, thing. So if you wanted to put some, uh, let's get it, where is it? If you wanted to put some of lava jets in there and then you have red lights underneath it does look a really good lava effect so that's what i would use that for but m most of the time i don't use dirty water um okay so then moving on uh we also have the we have the taller jets or we have these ones um that's back waterfalls which i speak about in a minute so you also have rain um I think that's in one of the DLC packs, but that's a nice little water feature to have. I'm classifying that as water feature because technically it is. Um, but yeah, rain's quite nice if you're adding, if you want to have like a scene in a movie or, or you just like, like the rain in your park because you're British or something and you like the rain, but uh, yeah, uh, that's one of them. And then we have this lovely water chat, which is normally used for like water chat displays. So if you want to do a big like fountain display or triggers and you use these water jets. Um, and then you also have these smaller ones um, if you don't want too big of a water chat. Um, and then you also have the water splash lines, which are quite good if you are doing like a Kraken. Um, if you want to have like a Kraken coming out of the water, then you can have that done. Uh, let me find it quite simply if I can find the DLC. Yep, there we go. So yeah, if you want the Kraken attack, then you can place that in, and then you can, if you really want to have a bit of immersion in here, you can actually 
you can actually add this effect here and on that one this one and then it makes it look like you know there's water spraying everywhere it just gives a lot more immersion to your scene because there's flash the splashing water everywhere and it's more interesting for the guests so yeah you can you can do that you can have that there and you can have water coming out the boat because there's leaks and stuff and you can even have sparks and stuff the uh, the content and the actual effects for water in this game are properly insane um, so yeah you can have that I don't know why he's sunk but he is um, so yeah you can have water effects uh, just splashing around there that's one use of them you can also have like windmills and stuff in the water if you want to power some water so um, that's always useful so here I actually used uh, I don't actually have an example of it here I'll put it back on um, rough water so if I wanted to have this ship scene I would definitely have it in rough water because the crack is moving around and the ships moving around this is great for seas or if you're doing islands this is great for them um, and then also as I said here you can use it for winter you can do it for water mills and that's quite that's quite a fun way of doing it as well um, so I will show you guys before I'm stuck to the ground there we go uh, how to make a waterfall now so first you want to make like your pool so your plunge pool um, for the waterfall to go in um, so you can have a lake or you can have a river whatever it doesn't really matter what it is so I want to do this little this little lake here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build like this nice little mound because a waterfall always needs to start up from a high point so I'm gonna have that there and then you kind of just chill it around and then if I want to go for some rocky theming, I can do that, make it all nice and rocky. I recommend painting the floor before you go into it, um, because then you don't have to waste your time painting it. But yeah, this is just a rough outline of what I'm doing. So, okay. So then I'm going to go to scenery, and then I'm going to go into water tab. Um, and then you can actually go into down here, and you'll find water pouring effect large. And essentially, that's your waterfall. <laughs> there you go. If I want to make it a bit bigger, I can do that. But yeah, essentially, that's your waterfall. Um, but then now you need to shrink down your size because we can't actually see where the waterfall's going. We need to fix this all up. We need to cover all these. So now. To actually make it look like it's actually from somewhere so then you just need to kind of layer it down like that and then you kind of have a ridge you always want a little bit of a ridge and then you kind of just build it up so you can just then go here and then just build it up and then there you go um, right and then once you've done that you can see that my waterfall, to waterfall is like half done it's terrible, can't believe it. Um, yeah, it's half done. It's a bit of an annoyance. But what you do now is we go to midsection. And then we just layer that on top. You can actually just use the midsection as your starter if you want to. You know, there's no, not, there's not really any rule to say you can't. Um, yeah, it's quite a lot of freedom. Um, yeah, you can. There's plenty of ways you could do this. So then you've got a nice waterfall there. Um, and you see here, just this bit here is just being a bit annoying. So you just place that back. And yeah, then you've got pretty much a nice waterfall. Uh, yeah. So that's how I would do a waterfall um, and yeah of course this looks a bit weird like that but if you want to make it so it's not weird looking or yeah you can just expand that there out and so you basically just build your layers up so the first thing you want is a mound and then you put your waterfall in and yeah so this could be like a two layered waterfall and then you want to build up your terrain on top so it doesn't look too messy so you might have a bit going down here. You want to spread out that terrain so it's not too, you know, 
it doesn't look that you've actually created a waterfall because sometimes waterfalls look a bit fake um, but yeah that looks quite good um, of course you might have a river up here or something uh, I don't know you might have a little a little I don't know a little bit of water up here and that might be feeding down into there you could always have that like that Ooh. Let me try and get the water back there, and then that would. That's not a great example, but um, yeah, you could have something like that, and that would be quite nice uh, to have up there. So yeah, that's that's an example of what you can have. Um, but yeah, so there's your waterfall. Let me just get rid of that bit at the top. So that's your waterfall there, um, and basically you just got to keep building it up um, and layering you layering your waterfall up. Uh, but yeah, that's a nice little waterfall, and then of course, if you wanted to hide all this, you could put some you know, rocks along here. Uh, you can really make it look nice um, with some foliage and stuff. But yeah, that's how I do the waterfalls. You hide it in the, you hide the water things in the, um, in the actual rocks, um, and then if you want to go for bottom, you can actually. Where is it? Not that one. Uh, da, 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 da. Yep, so you can go for this fountain effect, which is quite nice. So if you uh, had your waterfall at the bottom and you want to create that kind of effect of it falling down, then you can have that kind of plunge effect, which is quite nice to have. Um, and the last thing I'm going to talk about to end this short little tutorial video, um, so say we have, I don't know, a boat in the middle of our lake. And then around that boat, we have a few, I don't know, rocks. So, that's not great, is it? And maybe this boat's beach. Um, what you want to do is to show the boat sinking, or just to give it a bit more immersion, especially if it's like a, I don't know, a park sign, or maybe it's a park entrance, or it's a little fountain at the start of your park. You want to maybe think about having, using, um, where are they? this fountain splash because that looks really good it looks like that boat's sinking um, so you can add that all around probably not that much of it but yeah it makes it just adds so much more immersion to it and it looks like that boat's sinking now uh, it just adds kind of an animation to a standing still um, thing but anyway guys so that is pretty much all my knowledge on uh, water features um, and I hope you enjoyed the video you can you have so many effects to use in Planet Coaster it's absolutely amazing what you can actually do um, in Planet Coaster, but yeah, that's how I build my waterfalls, that's how I build my kind of watery lakes, um, that's how I do my water features, but I hope this video, um, helps you if you're a beginner, or you're just learning how to use, how to do Planet Coaster, um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and it was informative, and, uh, good. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for another Planet Coaster tutorial. We'll be next looking at rocks, and how to make rock work look efficiently and effectively. Um, because, you know, some, some, you know, it's been discussed quite a lot. Some people, you know, to make your rock work look effective, uh, you need to do certain things. But yeah, till next time guys, when I discuss rock work, bye for now.